What time do you normally get up? Uh, about 6 or 6.30. My alarm goes off at 5 a.m. and I'm usually up by 5.15 a.m. Around 6.30. I wake up at 5.30 a.m. Like, how long does it take you to get ready for school? 15 minutes. Okay. I'm here. I would say my the time it takes to get ready for work would be maybe half hour, 45 minutes at the most. But I like to have time to myself to uh, look at the newspaper, to okay. pray, read my Bible, uh, watch the news a little bit, catch the weather. And is that really early? Is that like regular time? Uh, for me, that I would say that is on the early side um, because on the weekend I typically won't wake up till at least seven, maybe seven thirty, sometimes eight o'clock. <laughs> and why do you have to get up so early in the morning? Like, well, what do you have to do? I leave my house no later than seven. I try to leave by six forty-five, and I don't like. I like to be able to have time to wake up, and mm -hmm. so I like to have. A coffee and I like to listen to NPR in the morning mm -hmm. so um, you know it takes a while to get up get dressed and shower and, yeah. so it's like hard to get up in the morning and get ready for school extremely hard do you feel really tired when you get to school yes I almost take naps in my classes <laughs> so like every day you almost fall asleep in your first period or yeah. do you have a zero period no um, do you get to school like tired or just like fall asleep during first period? Yeah. Like, do you usually fall asleep during first period or? No, it's just I get close to falling asleep but I never actually fall asleep. Okay. Do you have enough time, when you get here, do you have enough time to prepare for the day, like what you're going to do in your classes? Yes. Um, the it's. At this school, it's smart to arrive early to avoid the traffic hassles. Yeah. Uh, our traffic problem is huge, so if you can get past that uh, by coming earlier, it gives you setup time and, and uh, you're less stressed as well. So. Do you feel um, ready and awake when you get to what, get to school? I do. I feel like I've had my wake up period, mm -hmm. um, and right um, but I do notice that. Even though I'm awake, my first period class yeah. is not so much the case. They're, they are very sleepy and um, much different dynamic in first period than by third period. So like third period, they're more alert and awake and they pay attention better in class. Yes, they have had first and second period to kind of wake up. Mm -hmm. That's their kind of wake up period. And then if you think about it, third period starts um, about 9.45. So mm -hmm. by 9.45, 10 o'clock, the students are now actually alert, awake, they're responding, mm -hmm. um, which makes me wonder. So what time did King start before, like before it was 7.50, what time did they start then? I think it was 6.35. School started at that time? like Zero period. Zero period did? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was also hard on the staff. It was hard on the custodial staff because they're here by 6, mm -hmm. but when they're here and teachers arrive and have special needs, uh, maybe, you know, to unlock something or turn lights on, um, and they have certain custodians at certain rounds that they have to do, plus serve those teachers, it's difficult. Also, the school secretary, if there's a substitute teacher required, the school secretary has to be here to issue keys to that substitute teacher. And if school starts at 6.35, that's all that much earlier. So even though it's just 20 minutes difference, it, it does make a huge difference for the auxiliary staff. What time do you usually get to bed if you wake up at 6.30? Um, it's usually around 11 because I have homework and then I got volleyball to do, so it's usually around 11. 
then do you think you get enough sleep each night? No. No? Still? Like if it was at like 8.30? Oh, then yeah. You'd probably but, get enough sleep? Yeah. You don't think you'd be tired during first period? Or do you no, like... No, I think I'd be more rested. Do you have a lot of homework to do when you get home? Nope. I, I barely have any homework. Do you stay up real late at night? Yeah. <laughs> Would you, how would you like it if school was started later, like at 8.30? Would you think you wouldn't be as tired? My brain would be more awake, yes, because it's a more reasonable time. And you think you'd be more alert during class time? Yes, I would. Definitely? You wouldn't be falling asleep or anything? Well, I'd be distracted, but <laughs> I wouldn't be falling asleep. That's the good part, at least. Yeah. Do you think if we started at like 8.30, per se, yeah, do you think it, it would be better? Yeah, I students? think 8.30 would be better because uh, I think you, you'd have more productivity mm -hmm. from the students for that day. Um, you could say maybe first and second period. Right now they're pretty sleepy by third period. Maybe if we start an hour later, then um, you'd, you'd, have sec you'd have them in second period at least. Mm -hmm. you know? The counter argument is always we go so late in the afternoon. Yeah. And so we look at how late we would go. Right now we end at 2.30. Let's say we ended at 3.30. Um, most of the argument usually comes from the athletic department yeah, as the sports. Yeah. And then how late would their practices be? And then that would cause them to go home even later. Mm -hmm. And then the argument is always then they won't have time to do their homework. And then they won't have that downtime at the end of the day. The truth of the matter is, if you interview most teenagers and ask them what time they go to bed, I rarely find anyone that says they go to bed before 10 o'clock. Yeah, they go to bed really late, and then they have to wake up early, too, so they right. don't get enough sleep at night. So it's kind of a, it's, it's, we have to be a cultural change, total cultural change, because if we did go with the teenage rhythm, circadian rhythm, which mm -hmm. uh, is believed to get up later and stay up later, then yes, they would be getting home later, but they would be doing their homework at 9 and 10 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock, or uh, not yeah. getting to bed until 11. So, I everything I have read has said that teenagers need about 9 hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and if they're going to bed at 11 and getting up at 8 and having to be at school, you know, 8.30 is still kind of early, so 9 o'clock would actually probably be better. Be better for them. Yeah. If school were to start earlier, it would probably start, or and later, do you think that would be a, like an issue if it were to start later at like three? No, because my my practices are usually later in the day, anyways. So it would just mean I have a little bit less time to work on homework. Which I do you usually have a lot of homework to do? No. So it's like not much of a problem for no, you. Not really. The only problem is school would probably end later if it started earlier. Do you think that would be a problem? Really? There would just be more kind of like annoying than more of a problem, do you think? It would just be, yeah, it would be annoying, but... Wouldn't be that much of a problem? Yeah. Do you think starting later would help your sleep? Yes. Get you more sleep because so you're... I go to bed at the same time every night, whether it's weekends or weekdays. Yeah. It's, but would it end, like, really late, too late for you guys? Is um, that the problem? I don't, I don't think 15 minutes or a half an hour is a problem. Um, I think all of us are here beyond our contract hours anyway, and it, it, it will be nice to get paid for that. Yeah. So I, I was excited to hear, and still am, about the uh, time change and uh, the compensation for the fact that I'm always here after contract hours anyway. So my, my average amount of uh, work time at school is from 7 a.m. until uh, 3.30 or 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then when we have special events coming up, <clears throat> special projects, I'm here till about 4.30 or 5. Okay.